We're using an HTML file, linking it to app22.js. So that's where our JavaScript code is gonna go. And we've applied a little bit of styling for several different classes that we can apply to the elements that we're gonna be generating. In the JavaScript code, we're selecting the main page element. We're creating four more elements on the page. So one's gonna be the input field, and then we've got the encrypt and the decrypt buttons, and also a message area that we can output values, attaching event listeners to both of the buttons, and then running a couple different events for each one. So the first one is gonna be the encrypting using the BTOA method in JavaScript in order to encrypt the value. We're also opening it to the console, updating the input value, and then the message text is gonna be with whatever the encrypted value is. For the decrypt, we're doing the opposite where we're decrypting that value. And since now that we have it within the input area, we can run the decrypt and we can do a decryption of that value. And then this is just the function that's generating the elements on the page. We've got our index HTML and linking it to app22.js. So open up the app and we're gonna create selecting the element with a class of output. So we're gonna use the document query selector in order to make a selection of that element so that we can use it within our code. I've got the browser window opened on the right hand side. Uh, so we can also see the contents within the console as we're developing the code. So we wanna create a way to have a, a value that we're gonna input and then we can encrypt and we can decrypt it. So this will be my input and using the document, let's create an element. The element that we're gonna create is gonna be an input element. And then also let's create a button. So using the document create element, we'll create a button element. So that will give us a way to encrypt and decrypt and actually we're gonna need two buttons, so button one and also for button two. So one will encrypt the input value and one will decrypt the input value. And then we're also gonna need a way to put out a message. So this is gonna be the result of the encryption and decryption. So it's creating a div for that. And we wanna attach them all to the main output element. So to simplify and clean up the code, I'm gonna create a function that I'm gonna call adder. And within the adder function, we'll take in a few parameters and we'll return back the result of the appended value. And then we can assign that to those elements. So we need the main parent where the content is being attached. And then as well, let's add in a parameter for the HTML and then for the, also for the element type. So taking all of that, we'll create an element using the document, create element, and then the parameters are gonna be the element type, is gonna be the type, so we need to pass in that as a string to the value. So let's uh, set that up where we've got the content being sent in and the sending it in. So we wanna create an input, we wanna append it to the output and then we don't have any HTML. So we'll just structure it within this type of format. I'll update the other elements. And this is a way that we can clean up the code and remove some lines of code that we need to use. So for this will be N. And then this button will have. So one will be encrypt, one will be decrypt. And this right now will just be blank. So we create the element and then using the out or the parent object, we do append child because we do want the callback of the element and the element that we want to append to the page. So that appends all of the elements to the page. Uh, let's update the inner HTML of the element with whatever we've got for the HTML that's being passed in. So that adds the button text and the button content. Let's uh, add one more for the class. So I'll just call it CLA. So we'll take the CLA and that will give us an opportunity to add a class to the object.
And the class in this case is going to be the inputter. And for the buttons, let's add a class of btn to each one of these. So we can apply some styling to it. And for this one, this was just going to be the message area going back to the user. And save that. And in this case, we don't have any HTML. So we'll have a condition if HTML, then we'll apply the HTML. And we'll do the same thing for if CLA. And so if that exists, then using uh, the class list, we can add the CLA class to the element. So let's go back out and take a look at what we've got within the elements HTML. And just make sure that within output, we've got all of the elements. So we were able to add the classes, add the inner HTML. So everything looks good within the elements as we're creating them. And then of course, you can apply styling as needed since now that uh, they're within a class. So if you wanted a button with a little bit more padding and maybe font size. So that gives us the buttons. We'll do a display for the buttons. Inline block for the buttons. We've got an inputter element there. So let's add that class and I'll display block for that so it takes up the full available width and that will move the buttons down below. Let's actually make the button text slightly smaller. And of course you can adjust the styling as we're adding the classes uh, within that function. So now we've got a way to add some content into there. Uh, let's do the my input and set the value of it. And this will just say Lawrence Svakis as a value. So we don't have to constantly keep typing content into there. And what we want to do is we want to trigger the encryption of that content. And we also want to do a decryption of the content and attach the button clicks for that. And output the result into the message area. So let's add in the event listeners. So add event listener. And the event that we're listening for is going to be a click. So if it does get clicked, and I'll just call it encrypto. So it'll run a function called encrypto. And if button two gets clicked, then we'll run a function that's called decrypto. And now let's create those functions by those names. So encrypto function. And we're gonna be using the same value from the input, so we don't need to uh, select it or pass it in as an argument. And let's uh, set up that decrypto function. So this is the one that's going to output the result as decrypted. So for both of them, we are going to first thing we are going to need to do is to get the value of the my input. So let's just set it up as a variable called val. And we want to take this value and we want to do a decryption of that value. So in order to do the encryption, we want to select the element and then apply the BTOA method to it. And this is built into JavaScript. And what we'll do is we'll output that into the console as val. So let's select the encrypt. So that gives us an encryption of that value. And then uh, on the decryption side of it, we're going to wrap that with the OTB. And we'll also output that value into the console. So when we decrypt it and we encrypt it, so if we take the encrypted content and we do a decrypt, that's going to decrypt the content for us and allow us to see it. So we're able to encrypt, select that encrypted value and decrypt it. And when we encrypt, we'll update the my input value to whatever we've got for val. So let's encrypt and then we'll decrypt it. And we'll do the same when we do the decrypt so that we can switch it back and forth. So we can encrypt it and then we can also decrypt the encrypted content. And we're also gonna be outputting that into the message area. 
so that we can so see the output within message, set it up as text content within the message element, put the value of val in there. The same for the decryption. So when we encrypt it, that's our encrypted value. And when we decrypt it, that's our decrypted value.